Camila, quem a gente vai entrevistar agora? A gente veio aqui nesse lugar especial, dentro da árvore praticamente, para falar que a gente vai entrevistar o Stephen Harding, que é uma das pessoas, um dos principais pensadores sobre a, a Gaia Theory. A teoria de Gaia diz que a Terra é um grande sistema vivo, assim como uma célula é um sistema vivo. Tudo dentro da Terra e a Terra e aí. So, I'm, my name is Stephen Harding and I'm the head of the MSc in Holistic Science at Schumacher College and also the resident ecologist. Well, I think every, every human being feels they're in a special time. It must have been the case all the way through human history. But this really is a special time because for the first time, human beings are having a massive impact on the entire global environment. That hasn't happened before, as far as we know. Um, and we do need a paradigm shift. We need to realize that we actually live inside a huge living being. And that huge living being is called Gaia, or the Earth. And we don't seem to have understood that in mainstream culture. We still think that somehow we're outside the Earth and that we can just take what we like from the Earth and convert it into pollution. And, and the paradigm shift is from seeing ourselves as somehow detached from nature to realizing that we're deeply embedded in a planet which, as my friend David Abraham would say, is actually our own body. The Earth is our wider body. And we need to see it like that. So when we cut down the Amazon forest, we're cutting our own lungs. I mean, what, is, what a really unwise thing to do, to cut down your own lungs. The forest is like our lungs. You know, it's our lungs of our wider body. That's the paradigm shift we need. Whether it'll happen in time, I don't know, but that's what's required. That's a, and it's a major shift from egocentric to ecocentric. Of course, I, for me, imagination um, is not our ability to imagine things necessarily, but it's our ability to receive images, both from nature and from within the depths of our own psyche, which, and ultimately those two things, nature and the depth of our psyche, are the same thing. So imagination is the ability to perceive images and to receive the messages that images bring us. And we need a lot of that. We need to receive the images of nature, of trees, of forests, of rivers, of the atmosphere, of clouds. We need to receive them as images that have meaning for us. And we also need to receive images from, from our own intuition, from our own inner world, about what the world could be like and about how we should be behaving in relation to nature. So imagination is absolutely critical. I think it's the fundamental uh, skill that we need to cultivate. And then reason, rationality and science can help us um, go in the direction that the images are telling us we should be following. So I would put imagination first. In other words, a real attention to, Im to the images, both within and without. Although within, within without seems to create a duality which doesn't really exist. It's just a way of speaking. So I would say imagination is absolutely primary and reason should be the servant of imagination. Mainstream economics is based on a sort of outdated understanding from science that um, the, the, the earth is just dead stuff which we can use as we like for our benefit. So it's, it's based on the 16th, 17th century mechanistic view of nature. So mainstream economics is stuck in the 17th century. It's not and economics for the 21st century. Science, however, has moved on. And I think it's leaving, starting to leave the 16th and 17th century behind. Um, although I think the culture as a whole, Western culture as a whole, is still stuck in the 16th and 17th century. So not just economics. But science is moving on. You know, in the 20th century, we had the quantum physics revolution. And then also we had Gaia theory and the ecological the, the ecological revolution, or the revolution in the ec ecological thinking that came from Gaia. So I think economics needs to catch up with where science is. And it is catching up. I mean, here at the college we have an economics degree which is very much for the 21st century, in, which sees the Earth as a great living being, realizes that we live on a finite planet, that, that the Earth isn't a machine, as I said, it's alive, and that asking the question what can we humans contribute to the development of ourselves and the earth um, through an economic system. Stay in touch. I will. Uma coisa muito importante, vocês não podem esquecer de seguir o nosso canal no YouTube. This is not the truth. Isso é muito importante.